The Birmingham Railway Carriage and Wagon Company BRC and w was a railway locomotive and carriage builder, founded in Birmingham, England and, for most of its existence, located at nearby Smethwick, with the factory divided by the boundary between the two places. The company was established in 1854. Topic production BRC and W made not only carriages and wagons, but a range of vehicles, from aeroplanes and military gliders to buses, trolleybuses and tanks. Nevertheless, it is as a builder of railway rolling stock that the company is best remembered, exporting to most parts of the new and old worlds. It supplied vehicles to all four of the pre-nationalization Big Four railway companies LMS, Senior, LNER and GWR, British Rail, Pullman some of which are still in use and Wagons Lits, plus overseas railways with diverse requirement including Egypt, India, Iraq, Malaya, Mandate Palestine, South Africa and Nigeria. The company even built, in 1910, Argentina's presidential coach, which still survives, and once carried Eva Perón. Before World War II, the company had built steam, petrol and diesel-powered railcars for overseas customers, not to mention bus bodies for Midland Red, and afterwards developed more motive power products, including BR's Class 26, Class 33 both diesel and Class 81 electric locomotives. Examples of all three types are preserved. Topic: Wartime production. The company built hospital trains during the Second Boer War. Handley Page bombers and Airco DH-10s in World War I. During World War II, the company had a major impact on tank production as one the many companies building the A-10 cruiser tank, Valentine tank, Churchill tank, Cromwell tank, and Challenger tank. They led the design and production of the Cromwell tank in liaison with Rolls-Royce and Rover on the Meteor engine. The company also built Hamilcar gliders in 1939–1945. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Locomotives Some of the locomotives and multiple units built by the company are listed below. Topic: <inaudible> Diesel locomotives. 14 Commonwealth Railways NSU class in 1954. Works number DEL 1-14. Five similar locos for Sierra Leone Development Corporation in 1954 works number Del 15 to 19, plus one more in 1962. Work number DEL 259. Twelve Coras Iampere Aaran 101 class in 1956-1957 works numbers DEL 20-31. 13 locos for Ghana Railway and Harbours Administration works numbers DEL 32-44 47 British Rail Class 26 in 1958-1959 works numbers DEL 45-91 98 British Rail Class 33 in 1960–1962 works numbers DEL 92–189 69 British Rail Class 27 in 1961–1962 works numbers DEL 190–258 one British Rail D0260 Lion in 1962 works number DEL 260. Topic: <inaudible> Electric locomotives. British Rail Class 81. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Diesel multiple units. 
British Rail Class 104 British Rail Class 110 with Drury Car Co British Rail Class 118 Egypt State Railways 3 and 5 car railcars Topic Electric multiple units London Underground 1923 tube stock London Underground 1938 tube stock London Underground 1956 tube stock London Underground 1962 tube stock The order was transferred to Metro Camel owing to the financial problems at BRCW. London Underground CO, CP stock London Underground R47 stock London Underground T stock LMS, BR Wirral and Mersey Class 503. Closure. In the years running up to 1963 the company had built an extensive number of locomotives, multiple units, and underground cars, but then rapidly got into financial difficulties, and the business closed down. The self-funded prototype Lion main line locomotive was a particular disappointment, powered by a Sulzer 2750 horsepower diesel engine. It was pitted against another self-funded prototype, Falcon, built by Brush at Loughborough, which had twin 1400 horsepower Maybach engines. After trials, British Railways preferred the BRCW approach, but ordered them to be built by the Brush company. They became British Rail Class 47. In June 2014 the company reformed as a not-for-profit organisation to reconstruct locomotives from the 1960s that were lost to the scrap man, including D0260 Lion. At the time of writing January 2015, the company has identified an area of the old South Works site that will provide a suitable location for their headquarters. Other sites are also being evaluated which could prove to be better suited to the company's requirements. <laughs> Preserved BRCW locomotive plus units <laughs>